Plane or gliding joints allow only gliding movement. As in the elbow and knee, a hinge joint permits unidirectional bending or extension. A cylindrical bone end fits into a trough-shaped surface on another bone to form a hinge joint. A round end of one bone fits into another bone's ring, surrounded by ligament, to form a pivot joint. As in the joint between the atlas and the nexus axis, this permits the second bone to rotate around the long axis of the first bone. When an oval-shaped articular surface called condyle fits into a concave oval depression, it forms a condyloid or ellipsoidal joint. These biaxial joints allow abduction, adduction, or side-to-side, -side, and flexion, extension movement, but not rotation. The wrist between the radius and carpals and the knuckle between the metacarpals and phalanges contain ellipsoidal joints. Convex and concave areas form like a saddle to make saddle joints. Found in the thumb or first carpometacarpal joint, for example, these joints permit the same range of motion as condyloid joints. A spherical head on one bone fits into a round socket of a second bone to form a ball and socket joint. As in the shoulder and hip joints, these multi-axial joints allow movement on all axes, including rotation.